We're celebrating another huge opening night on Broadway. The revival of the Who's Tommy is back on Broadway, and three decades later, the original Tony Award-winning creators have reunited to bring the story back to today's audiences. We hit the red carpet with the stars on opening night. I did my homework, and I watched, like, the you know, movie, and I watched, uh, like, all, all the old performances that The Who did, and um, kept, like, pieces of that within me, like, understood that energy and what, what it is to be, like, a rock star and to have this sort of F.U. attitude and that grit. There's just, like, this thing that rock stars tap into that's, you know, I, I, I like to equate it to, uh, you watch The Who, and Pete Townsend's like breaking a guitar. Uh, you watch the Rolling Stones and Mick Jagger's doing this like, he does this like weird thing with his mouth while the guitar's playing. And Tina Turner was like all like shaking and stuff. So, you know, you watch these rock stars and they always chose something weird and like really unique, but went full, full, uh, you know, 100% with, with that. And we're, we're confident in it. So I tried to take a little piece of that and I find little weird movement patterns and just obscure things to do in the show and, and be very confident about it. I love singing this music. I mean, I grew up singing anything I heard on the radio. You know, that's how I learned how to sing. That's how I learned music. So then to get to sing The Who every night is very, I feel way cooler than I actually am. It's a very, it's very dope. The new fans coming in, they're gonna be, uh, I think, really surprised at how visceral and how just how electric the energy is with the music, and and, and you're gonna feel it uh, with this sound system we have. <laughs> you're gonna feel it through your body. <laughs> like a, any great opera, it uh, if you don't get on the train and begin, it leaves you in the dust. The only time we ask you to applaud is at the end of Act One and at the end of the show. And so you get on the ride and you leave a much more empathetic forgiving, generous of spirit person than you were before, utilizing this music that is timeless. And uh, there's an entire genre of musical theater that wouldn't exist if Tommy hadn't broken through in a very revolutionary way. There is something universal about this score. I was in Whole Foods a few days ago, and a, a, a young guy who was doing the bagging came up to me and said, I loved Tommy. And I didn't know the album, and I'd never heard the music before. and and. Uh, and they're claiming it, and I think Gen Z is really claiming the show as if it's their own. And, and Gen Z, you know, it's comprised of rebels, just like the 60s generation that Pete and ultimately, I suppose, I was a part of. So, you know, Pete was a spokesperson for rock and roll. So I think there is a real, I think it's very meaningful.